After weeks spent battling the monster, we have finally managed to destroy Dracula, but at a terrible price. Quincy lies dying at our feet. All we can do is be with him as he slips into oblivion. Mina is saved, yes, but for how long? The vampire's blood runs in her veins. Though the marks on her neck have disappeared, who knows whether they will reappear or not one day. True, we all saw Dracula disappear, yet not one of us can say for certain whether we have actually defeated the Fiend. and knock the auger out. Fiorel is going to be furious. I have to hurry downstairs and lock the doors. May the good Lord protect us. And don't come back! away from this cabin, otherwise you'll have to answer to me!
Jonathan. Please excuse my writing, but my hand trembles so I can barely hold my pen. After you left this morning, a strange dizziness came over me. I went out for some fresh air, and when I looked up, I was at Carfax. Dracula's home was summoning me as if he'd returned and wanted me again. As I write, I can no longer master the power that is drawing me there. I'm leaving on the first boat to Transylvania. I feel that I must go back to the castle. I am powerless. I must find out what is happening to me. Don't attempt to follow me. Your presence would only complicate things. Forgive me. Mina. I want to go to the castle. What is the shortest path? To the old castle. But it has been deserted ever since the Count disappeared. What do you want to do there, stranger? I don't have time to explain, but it is very important for me to get to the castle immediately. You ought to wait for daylight. The path is strewn with traps. You'll have to face countless unimaginable dangers. You'd better stay with me. We'll have a drink together. I cannot. It's a question of life and death. Whatever you like, young man. Well, you can take the old bridge behind the inn, but it's not safe. Is that really the only way? Oh, in any case, it's certainly the fastest. Seward, my friend. My deepest fears were founded. This morning, Mina was overcome by a fit of insanity and she took off for Transylvania, alone. Apparently, Dracula is back. Could you start investigating this matter in London and find out whether the threat is real? If so, you will have to recruit new allies and go back into battle. Beware, and be careful. I am leaving all post-haste to catch up with Mina. She only has a few hours lead. I hope I find her before it's too late. Jonathan.
my god! You shouldn't have touched that object. Misfortune is again our lot. Beware, you don't know what powers you are dealing with. It's Dracul! Dracul the Devil. Dracul? Is this in any way related to the Count? Dracula means... the son of the dragon. In our country, Transylvania, the dragon is a very evil creature. It wreaks chaos and total destruction. The dragon is the guardian of the gates to hell. I found this slingshot at the foot of the cross. A slingshot is very practical. You can always count on it when you're hunting or poaching. Me, I hunt birds near the lake. You can see them up in the big old oak tree. There are always plenty of birds there. There was also a bird on the cross. It had been crucified. Ah, the fiends! I'm sure it was Viorel and his men. They're Dracula's infernal minions. They're bloodthirsty brutes. Me, I hunt for my food. But them, they kill for their sacrifices. But what devil do they serve? They disappeared for a while, but recently they have come back. I see. It's the flute belonging to the ruffians who were sitting there earlier. Do you know what they use this instrument for? You still have a lot to learn about the servants of evil. They use it to call each other. They communicate with one another by playing a melody. Then that's their rallying cry. Do you know what melody they play? I watch them. They weren't paying attention to me. They thought I was drunk, but it takes more than a dozen drinks to befuddle my brain. I remember the tune they used to call one another. Here it is. The bridge has just collapsed. Is there another way up to the castle? The bridge is down? I'm sorry. That's the only path that goes to the castle. Except perhaps... Uh... Do you know of another way? The old people say that there's an underground passage leading to the castle. But that's just a tall tale. If there's a passage, no one knows where the entrance is. I don't see how I can reach the castle. My time is short. Please help me. There are a lot of old legends in this region. The castle is said to be built with stones pried from the mountains by thousands of men who died for their labors. The old people say that the mountain is riddled with tunnels haunted by the souls of the damned. Whoever dares to brave the mountain is a fool. I have no choice. My wife's life depends on it. I must go. May God protect you on your mission. Perhaps the cabin conceals a route to that hell. You should go out there and look. But all the roads to the cabin are blocked. I must find a solution. I cannot help you, and I'm not familiar with the house. I'm not the best person to help you. Madam, I must go to the castle as soon as possible. To the castle? Uh, it's late. The road is long and hardly safe. You must be exhausted. Don't bother about going to the castle tonight. I'll get your room ready and tomorrow we'll discuss it. Tomorrow will be too late. I must go to the castle now. Do you really have to go? Tonight is St. George's Eve. At the stroke of midnight, all the evil roaming the world will be master on Earth. Do you realize where you're going and what you will face? Stay here. Don't go. For your mother's sake. When I pulled the stones away in the cemetery, I found a strange ring. A mysterious blue light was pointing right to the spot. Did you see blue flames? Blue flames only appear on nights when the demons have broken their chains. Tonight, no man in this region will dare brave the outdoors, even if the flames pointed to a spot with a buried treasure. Buried treasure? When I was a child, my grandmother would tell me the story of the invasions that beset our country for centuries. Practically every square inch of this land has been steeped in men's blood, but the invaders never found much. 
the peasants preferred to bury their most precious possessions rather than see them fall into the hands of the barbarians. It is said that their gold is cursed. Get that ring away from me! The bridge has collapsed. It was very hard for me to get back to the inn. You must help me find another path to the castle. Virel is furious. I had to lock the doors of the inn to escape his anger. I think he's convinced that we're helping you. I'm so afraid. What is to become of us? I need you more than ever now. How can I possibly get out of the inn and reach the castle? If there's no other way, I will have to confront Virel. Too much is at stake. No. I cannot let him harm you. Those people have made a pact with the devil. There is no way you can win. There may be a way out. A few days before he died, my late husband told me about a passage through the cellar. Hurry. Time is short. Show me. Alas, I never knew what he was talking about. But he seemed so frightened, so ill. You may find some clues in his notebook. I put it away in the cupboard. But I beg of you, be careful. Whatever is down there, that is what killed my husband. Did you know that this instrument belonged to the men who shoved you as they left? Be careful, they mustn't find you with the flute. Or you'll be in very serious trouble. I wonder what they use this instrument for. One day, when I was in the attic, I saw them near the bridge. One man played a melody, and another man showed up directly. I don't know whether they saw me, but they left right after that. Welcome, stranger. Welcome to my humble inn. I hope those two brutes didn't hurt you. I cannot imagine what got into them. Never mind. You must have had a long trip, and it is already very late. Now, sit by the stove and get warm. If you need anything at all, I'm there in the kitchen. Please feel free, make yourself at home. After weeks of searching, I have finally understood the purpose of the Dragon Ring. The ring is a key, a key to hell, to the world of the dragon, and the door to that world is just below us. I must hurry. I must protect my family. I have blocked off the passage and hidden the cursed ring in the spot where St. George protects the living and the dead. In the name of all the saints, may that door remain forever locked. Our lives depend on it.
We say that we can never come back from hell. This time, a miracle has happened, and it really is a miracle. Mina is near me, still unconscious, but alive, and that is the most important thing. I don't know how Mina will be marked by this adventure, but all I know is that as long as the Count is alive, Mina will be in danger. I can't avoid the confrontation any longer. Once I'm in London, I will have to confront Dracula. For Mina, and for all the men on this earth, this time, and with the help of God, we will definitively destroy the monster. I swear it. Give me the amulet. You can get into the castle, can't you? How is that possible? Your mind is quick, but it is still a mere mortal intellect. When you took the amulet from its place, the curse was broken. Now I can go wherever I want to go. Come now, give me the amulet. I won't give it to you until you've told me where Mina is. Don't tell me you have already forgotten how I helped you. Is this all the thanks I get? Thanks for what? Up to now, all I've done is risk my life to recover this amulet that you seem to want so much. Right now, I'm the one who's giving the orders. Tell me, where is Mina? I have one last bargain to make with you. After that, you will never hear from Dorco again. Give me the amulet and I will show you your wife. You can trust me. I am a woman of my word. Good. You made the right decision. And now, 
Bring my wife to me. I told you, I am true to my word. There she is. Mina! There! I kept my word, and I have finally retrieved the sacred amulet. Vengeance is nigh! Tremble! Quake in fear before Dorko's regained power! As for you, I've paid my debt, but when Dracula comes back, I will have to prove to him that I can reign by his side as I did with his father. What better proof can I give him of my allegiance than delivering his enemy into his hands, retrieving the dragon ring, and protecting his betrothed? You are too valuable for me to let you go. friend is going to the castle. Are you sure he has the ring with him? Good. Excellent. You will be rewarded. He'll soon find out what it costs to attack me. What greater pain could I possibly inflict on him than impede his quest when time is so precious? But the sun is rising, and now is not the time to play with my prey. The fool. He is walking to his death, and he is not aware of it. The theories of that young genius I met in Florence in 1468 turned out to be true. I have kept some of his sketches, especially this one of the flying machine inspired by the flight of birds. Building the device was an enormous intellectual challenge. I shall now put the machine in the tower. the same. 
sacred amulet. Who has woken Zelina? Get back! Get back! Stay back! Who are you, wretch? Put that amulet down right now, or my sisters and I will make you die a horrible death. You're lying. Dorko told me that I was protected. Dorko? That old witch! So you're Dorko's flunky. You shouldn't believe everything that crazy woman tells you. She's using you. She's sending you out to do her dirty work. But you'll die for nothing. Put down the amulet. Why aren't you attacking me? Unless you cannot, because the power of the Dragon Ring is protecting me. You're powerless against me. Ha! How long do you think you can escape us? There is no way you can go. You'll finally drop in exhaustion. You can hold out another few hours at most, whereas we have all of eternity before us. When you do fall into an exhausted slumber, it will be your last. If you are reading this letter, then you have come much further than I had expected. But that will make no difference to the fate I have planned for you. When night falls, my streak will mercilessly destroy you. Your fate is sealed. As for Mina, she is here in the castle, but have no illusions. You will never see her again. What cruel powerlessness you must feel knowing that she is so near and being unable to do anything. And above all, having performed such feats only to fail so near your goal. Now you know how dearly it costs to attack me. I must leave you. An important matter requires my presence in London. I fear that we will never have the occasion to meet again. Make the most of the last moments of your life. They will surely be the most precious of your short existence, Count Dracula. Do you 
have any idea what this ball is for? You should look beyond an object's outward appearance. A mere ball like this one can foretell the future and unveil secrets. It often doesn't take too much to bring these signs to light. A crystal ball can sometimes be a bridge between one world and another. How can these signs be unveiled, since the ball is not made of crystal? I am a magician. Now watch very closely at what the occult powers can accomplish. Take the crystal ball and use it to unveil the signs that will enable you to open a secret part of the castle. But don't forget that finding the amulet is your priority. My wife is locked up in the castle. However, I don't know where. Can you help me to find her? Your wife? Hmm. She's probably in a room in the darkest dungeons of the castle, guarded by three demons who dwell in the crypt. How can I overpower the demons and rescue Mina? It won't be easy. This world is very different from the one you live in. The castle has its own rules. Ignore them and you will surely die. Do you realize that? I'm not afraid. Silence! Believe me, fear has nothing to do with it. You don't have the slightest idea of what's waiting for you. Yes, I can help you, but only if you do everything I tell you and nothing else. Otherwise, you won't live long and your wife will be lost forever. Tell me right now. Listen carefully to me. If I am to help you find your wife, you need an object, a very important piece. It is an amulet kept in the crypt under the castle. Before you can unlock the invisible passage to the crypt, you must first find a key to the system. The Medal of the Dragon Brotherhood that once belonged to Dracula's father. An amulet? And a medal? What have they got to do with my wife? Don't argue! The Medal of the Dragon Brotherhood is the only way I know of to reach the crypt where your wife is being held. Find the medal and bring it back. I'm the only person who understands how to make it work. Here is the Medal of the Dragon. At least I think so. It's been terribly damaged. Let me see. Dracula undoubtedly attempted to destroy it, but these objects are tough. It's magnificent. How can this dirty, defaced piece of old metal make the castle easier to get into for me? Be patient. The metal is the symbol of the Dragon Brotherhood, a very strong guild. Dracula's father received the metal from the Emperor Maximilian himself in 1431. It is reputed to have supernatural powers, but if the metal is ever to recover its original form, I must have some of your blood. So now give me your hand. Watch out, if you ever... Don't be so suspicious. Ow! It shows the dragon impaled on the cross. By sullying the metal with his blood, Dracula has secured the victory of the dark powers, the dragon and the devil. But the metal still has kept its divine power. Now, put the metal in the right spot, and the castle will reveal its secret rooms. Interesting find. Do you know what this little cross is for? You tell me. Do you know the principles of the magic squares? Do you know the power they possess? He who is in the castle is said to preserve the balance between the power of good and the power of evil. 
When you have unraveled its mystery and released the imprisoned cross, you will open the door to one world or another, depending on which way you turn the cross. Does this mean that I will release the powers of evil? The powers of evil, as you call them, were released long ago. But the symbols you will be handling are evil. This will be your very last trial. If you are successful, the path to the crypt will be wide open, but you will then have to bring the amulet to me immediately. Is somebody there? Answer me! Who's there? Don't be frightened. It's been so long since anyone has talked to me that I thought I was still hearing voices. I'm so weary of hearing mine. I've been alone here for eons. Who are you? I am a woman who has been rejected. Rejected and betrayed. A woman who has been unjustly banished. I am Dorco. What are you doing here? And you, what are you doing here? My name is Jonathan Harker. Count Dracula has kidnapped my wife and... <gasps> Dracula, the traitor! He is the blackguard who sentenced me to live here like an outcast. He and my three blood sisters. They did this to me. You have opened my prison, but I am still not free. I can no longer get into the castle. Help me break the curse that binds me, and I will help you. I will help you to get your wife back. 